Hello guys, my name is Rush Badger, and welcome to Sunken Dragon, one of the four new maps in the Dragon's Teeth DLC, also known as the Dragon's Teeth DLC that so many of you have been anticipating for so long. I want that Dragon's Teeth! It's... It's very fun, but it's very different. That's how I'll describe it. Now, if you want to see any of the other three maps other than Sunken Dragon, which are, what, Lumfini Garden, which is kind of just UK weather, just gloomy and crummy, but in China. Or you want to see Propaganda, which is kind of just North Korea in a nutshell. Or you want to see Pearl Market, which is kind of just Buster Cluck 24-7. I will leave links to videos that I've made for those three specific maps as annotations on your screen and links in the description if you want to see any of the other maps in the DLC. And yet again, it's kind of, this specific map is kind of Siege of Shanghai-ish, but at the same time, it's also not. It seems a little bit smaller, and obviously everything is built around this middle D flag, or B flag. I don't even actually remember what it was, but I do remember trying to cap it, and it was an absolute struggle fest. Alright, absolute struggle fest. So, the catch is, and this was, this was the funny part. Yeah, it is the B flag, now that I can see it, like 120 meters away. And that's basically the way the entire map worked was... There's about 100 meters between each flag, and everything's built around B because everybody wants to go, Oh, my sunken dragon, let's go check out that thing that is red and shiny. That's that's the basis of exactly what we were playing, was a lot of people were very attracted to that B flag. But you have to realize, it it was actually kind of hilarious the, the way that it was explained to us. So, I think a lot of you picture the people that design, or like the creative people that design these sorts of maps and have this creative or artistic vision have these fancy PhDs or degrees and artistic backgrounds and coding and all these creative people and it, for us this black dude just came in with a pick in his afro and he was like what's up guys I'm in this DLC I was like this is awesome dude this is so awesome because I was expecting a guy in a suit that was gonna like talk down to us about yeah this is why this thing is the best thing ever and you should probably force everybody to buy it but instead this guy was very chill about everything and he explained to us exactly the way the B flag works. So his vision, this dude's vision for the B flag was essentially, while it's right now, which is kind of the normal state, if you will, it's not that complicated to cap. Obviously you just stand on it. But then when the levolution is triggered, and I'll show you guys the levolution in like another 45 seconds or so. When the levolution's triggered, all that's gonna happen is that the water level in this central area is gonna rise to a, a certain height that is like, Oh my god, no, do not want, do not want, do not want, if you are on the B flag. And here's another little tip, I would definitely turn your brightness up, because if you have the default, which I think is between like 30 and 40, it is very, very dark, and it's hard to see in these lower little caverns of this sunken dragon. So that's something that I would definitely recommend, but the difference on this B flag is that when the levolution's triggered, and... Spoiler alert, the levolution is not that exciting. You literally just press a button and the water level rises, but when that happens on the B flag, you can only cap it in the water, which is a little bit different because obviously that's going to leave you extremely vulnerable while you're trying to cap it. You're like, oh my god, no, please, no, don't look at, no! Like, oftentimes that's what happened to me as I was trying to cap the B flag and everybody's looking down at you because you're just... You're honestly, I, I want to say fish in a barrel, but you're more fish in a dragon because you're very... It's hard to defend yourself when all you have is a pistol and you're floating in water and that's obviously no cover for you. So we hit that button, that was Chaboy by the way, we hit that button and then we wait and we wait and we wait and it takes a little while but and we almost thought that it didn't happen. We thought the levolution didn't happen. He got sniped in the face because he's a scrub and then we look back and okay this little red light is flashing and there's sounds going off so obviously we did hit it and once we went back see how the water level has risen significantly and that's... That's the levolution. I know it's not that exciting. It's not like the skyscraper coming down that ruins your FPS and brings it down to like 12, but that's really what happens. That was that's is is what makes B flag so frustrating sometimes. Now these dudes, man, these dudes in this next tower, and I can foresee these towers being quite the bush monster camp spot, by the way. Soften this dude up and a two-piece of a biscuit. Damn, dude. Damn. Now, even Doom got in on that, dude. Doom was actually very, very good. I was pretty impressed playing against Doom, but at the same time, nobody was really trying that hard, except for a few people that will remain nameless. And I was talking some mad smack just because I could, but it was fun all around. Now, another thing that I like to say about Sunken Dragon is that I think it looks a lot larger than it actually is. I... I wouldn't say it's as large as Siege of Shanghai, I want to say it's about a half to two-thirds of the size. And I, th I think it's just, when you see that central area, it's so deep, like there's, I mean there's, <laughs> there's such a massive 
sort of depth, that hole in the middle of the map, that it makes it look a little bit larger. It's not necessarily an optical illusion, but it makes everything feel a little bit larger when it's really, like, there's usually between 75 to 100 meters in between flags, and it's just not CG Shanghai. It's not that expansive. But I would still say that Sunken Dragon is probably going to be, in my honest opinion, the most fun for the majority of you. Not that North Korea is necessarily boring, but I, I think we can all agree that North Korea is not the most exciting place in the world, which is what propaganda is built off of. I'll talk about that in another video. Pearl Market is... I think it will be an interesting addition if you really like shotguns. Like, if you're just, like, whipping out your shoddy like John Gotti and bah, 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 like, around every corner that you go around, I think that Pearl Market will be your thing, but yet again, also address that specifically in another video. I think Sunken Dragon is what a lot of you are looking for in a mix of, and oh my god, my aim, dude. My aim. Three good, five me. I I thought the hip fire was going to be good enough, and not that this setup that I was using was a little bit goofy, but I thought this cloth monster slash bush monster was just... He was in this corner, I want to say, for the majority of the game, and he would not leave. So, in addition to some of the other YouTubers that were there, there was other, like, QA guys and other guys that I just had not really recognized that were in a different room that were also playing with us. Most of them were straight scrubs, but they had some, some decent players at certain points in time. But this dude was sitting in the corner the entire game. And I found it funny that this knife is called a neck knife. And, Get me off the service, dog! And I even started side before I even finished him off. But he would not leave that corner, so I had to put him in his bush monster place. Not that they're necessarily inferior or anything, but if you sit in the corner the entire game, especially in a sort of event like this, you're probably just going to get absolutely shrek. Now, I was looking forward to coming around this corner because, as a lot of you have heard, there's this little upgrade or this little gadget that's called the RAR, or the R-A-W-R, which is like a... It kind of just looks like a mounted machine gun on an RC car type deal that can also... I believe it can shoot rockets. Not rockets, but like like basically grenade launchers or grenades, which I saw Chavoy using, but... It seemed like it takes about, picture how many bullets you gotta shove into or shoot into a guy to kill him. It takes like three or four times that to take this thing down. In addition to it having laser beam accuracy, almost no recoil, and it's very easy to control it. Yeah, like I said, more scrubs just being everywhere on every map at all times. But I would also say that this sort of raw vehicle, it has the same downside of just like the Mav, just like the EOD, or you're trying to be Wally or something like that, you are still extremely vulnerable to everybody else when you're just laying prone somewhere or you're somewhere else even though even though the vehicle that you're using this raw robot that is so effective and so deadly and so easy to use that I think that's what makes it so scary is that it's not only very deadly but it's easy to use I think a lot of things in this game are not necessarily easy to use but they can be deadly but when you have that combo of ah this little robot it's like flying around here it's not only really really deadly but it's also easy to use it, it, it can, can get kind of scary but at the same time Keep in mind that that guy is still vulnerable in whatever kind of corner that he's hiding in. Somebody can just come around and shoot you in the face, and your little robot doesn't really mean anything. And at the same time, I would also say that Sunken Dragon, you know what? It's probably going to be the most fun. I, I declare that right now. It's probably going to be the most fun. Even though I was kind of, like, I don't know if this footage is the most indicative because also, too, keep in mind, it's usually, I think it was like 12 on 12 or like 10 on 12 for a lot of the game, and... Oh my god, Carl. Did you not see those? So I tried to shoot the rocket behind him just to scare him. And then, look, I think Jack Frogs hit him from behind. And then he decided to accelerate and boom! Nice, nice, man. But that's all that I have to say about Sunken Dragon. If you'd like to see the other three maps, I will leave a link in the description and obviously annotations on your screen. And I'll be live streaming China Rising as soon as it comes out tomorrow. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald und... Later.